Dear Santa Claus, how have you been? Please don't get the idea that I'm writing because I want something. Nothing could be further from the truth. I want nothing. Spend your time elsewhere. Don't bother with me. I, I really mean it. If you want to skip our house this year, go right ahead. I won't be offended. Really, I won't. What in the world kind of letter is this? I'm hoping that he'll find my attitude peculiarly refreshing. It's peculiar, all right. Try again. Dear Santa Claus, how are all your reindeer? Are they well fed? Is your sleigh in good shape? Are the runners oiled? Then go, man, go! I don't think I'd better send that. Dear Santa Claus, how have you been? How is your wife? I am not sure what I want for Christmas this year. Sometimes it is very hard to decide. Perhaps you should send me your catalog. I kind of like the new girl who sits behind me in class. What's her name? I'm not sure. She keeps changing it. Changing it? Today, my name is Jezebel. Jezebel was the evil wife of King Ahab in the Old Testament. In 2 Kings, it says that her servants threw her out the window and she landed on her head. Today, my name is Susan. I can't decide if I like you or not. You have funny looking hair. Especially when the teacher calls on you. I'm making out my Christmas card list. Could I have your home address? Aren't you kind of old for me? I'm not asking you to marry me. I just want to send you a card. <laughs> Joy to the world. This is my address. You can send my Christmas card there. What about your name? Well, today I'm Lydia. Last week I called myself Rebecca, but I also like Rachel. I'll just put down her. Here, one of your Christmas cards came back. It says no such address. It's the girl at school. Oh, she's going to drive me crazy. Why do you bother with her? She fascinates me.